Hey guys, this is the long-awaited review of the Squid Industries um, clone by Viper Tech. You can see right there. There we go. See, by Viper Tech. So, let's get right into the video. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your life. First of all, this thing is blade heavy. That is my main gripe about this. It is ridiculously blade heavy. And blade heavy is really hard to deal with. Handle heavy isn't too bad. Um, but blade heavy just feels weird. You just can't do tricks the same. So I put these, um, this is just electrical tape wrap, wrapped around the end of the handle. There were screws down here. Um, they look just like the ones up here. If that'll focus. There you go. It looked just like the screws up here, but they were down here to add like weight and stuff, but those didn't really work good. So I added electrical tape. Um, the electrical tape sticks out past the handle just for added like weight because if I just cut it off right there, I'd have to make it thicker. Um, I don't wanna, shit. I don't wanna have to do that. So, um, I didn't do that. Um, so, pros and cons of this thing. Pros, it's cheap. Pros, it's a good beater. Um, cons, blade heavies. Yeah, oh, another con tap even though it's got bushings um the play i guess is pretty bad um and then yeah this is pretty sharp too so you could get cut and the crown this isn't really like crowned or anything or chanford so it's hard and these handles are really light and the texture's weird it's just a weird butterfly knife if you have 25 bucks to spend on a butterfly knife, um, save up an extra five and get a Amazon Mamba clone. I'll have the link in the description on where to get this and on where to get the Mamba clone. The Mamba clone will be the second link in the description. Um, it's, uh, you can get it on Amazon Prime too. This was just on Viper Tech's website. Um, this thing's okay at fans, like choker fanning. It's okay at. But, so basically, out of 10, 10 being like a perfect knife, no tap, no play and stuff, I would rate this like a 3. It sucks. So yeah. I don't know if you guys want to get this or not. It's a, it's a good beater. I'll, t I'll t give, a, give it that. It's a good beater for the price because it's channel aluminum handles with a really thick blade. Um, it's really loud though. Anyway, um, that's what I think about this knife. Um, check the first link in the description on where to get it. And the second one for the recommended knife for around this price range. Um, so yeah, hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.